glad to see you. Welcome to another magnificent and marvelous math lesson. My name is Miss Antonia Bain and I'm going to take you through this week's math lesson. So let's dive in. In today's math lesson, we have an exciting topic to discover. This topic requires us to think critically. Today, we will be taking on part two of our division lesson, dividing larger numbers using word problems. Let's look at our lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the keywords that symbolize division, state and explain the four steps to solving a word problem, and solve division word problems. Before we begin, let's do a quick review. In our last lesson, we looked at the parts of the division problem. The dividend, the number that you are dividing into, the divisor, the number that you are dividing by, the quotient, the result obtained. Now, let's review the steps of solving a division problem. There are five basic steps to solving a division problem. Do you remember what they are? I'll give you a minute to think. If you said divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat, you are correct. There are numerous keywords or terms that once we see them in a word problem, they represent division. These keywords are, but not limited to, each, divide, per, distribute, out of, half, average, cut, dividend, split, and separate. Now let's look at our word problem. To solve this problem we are going to use the UPSC method. Understand, plan, solve, and check. When we understand we read the problem, identify the question, and circle what we know. Read the problem with me. Manuel has 720 stamps. Six stamps fit on each page in his collection book. How many pages can he fill? Now that we've read the problem, let's identify the question. Hmm, what do they want us to do? What do they want us to figure out? They want us to figure out how many pages can he fill? Now, let's circle what we know. We know there are 720 stamps altogether and 6 stamps fit on each page in his collection book. Now, it's time to plan. Here, we choose a strategy that makes sense and works best for us. When we look at the problem, there is a keyword that helps us to answer this problem. Can you guess what it is? If you said the word each, you are correct. Each tells us that we must divide. Now it's time to solve. Set up your problem. Remember, 720 is your dividend and 6 is your divisor. Let's start dividing. Now, once we are done, it's time to check. To check a division problem, we use multiplication. Let's set it up. Now, we will know if we are correct if our end product is the dividend in our division problem. 
Let's multiply. We were correct. There are 120 pages of stamps in Manuel's collection book. Good job, guys. Let's look at another word problem. To solve this problem, we are going to use the UPSC method again. Understand, plan, solve, and check. When we understand, we read the problem, identify the question, and circle what we know. Read the problem with me. Bill has 180 marbles. He puts 27 marbles in each bag. How many bags does he fill? Now that we've read the problem, let's identify the question. Hmm, what do they want us to do? What do they want us to figure out? They want us to figure out how many bags does he fill? Now, let's circle what we know. We know that there are 180 marbles altogether and 27 marbles are in each bag. Now it's time to plan. Here, we choose a strategy that makes sense and works best for us. When we look at the problem, there is a keyword that helps us to answer this problem. Can you guess what it is? If you said each, you are correct. Again, each tells us that we must divide. So now it's time to solve. Set up your problem. Remember, 180 is your dividend and 27 is your divisor. Let's start dividing. Now once we are done, it's time to check. To check a division problem, we use multiplication. Set it up. Now we will know if we are correct if our end product is the dividend in our division problem. Let's multiply. Don't forget to add on our remainder. That should bring us back to our dividend. Let's see. Yes, we were correct. He filled six bags and has 18 marbles left over. Now it's your turn, guys. Pause the video and practice this one on your own. When you are done, press play and I'll reveal the answer. Before you go, let me read the problem for you. Sue drove 360 miles in 15 hours. How many miles did she drive in one hour? Remember, pause the video and when you are done, press play and I'll reveal the answer. If you said 24, you are correct. Sue drove 24 miles in one hour. Before we go, let me let you in on a little secret. This secret has to do with dividing money. You can divide money amounts with decimal parts just like you divide whole numbers, as long as you line up the decimal points in both the answer and the working part of the division. Take a look. $1.82 divided by 7. Let's divide.
Make sure our decimal points are lined up in both our answer and our dividend. Once we are finished, we will realize that $1.82 divided by 7 is equal to 26 cents. Let's recap. What did we learn today? We learned that there are numerous keywords that indicate that we must divide. Each, split, and separate are just a few. We also learned that we must use the UPSC method to solve word problems. What is that method? We understand, we plan, we solve, and we check. Good job, guys. Well, that's the end of another marvelous and magnificent math lesson. You should be dividing masters by now. Go forth and divide. Thank you for watching. This lesson was created by Miss Antonia Carmen Bain from TG Global Professional Development and Research School.